It's almost December 1st, which means we're approaching that time of year where it's okay to wear an inappropriate light-up sweater to work and not get sent home. So for Christmas this year, I want to make an advent calendar for my girlfriend April, but I'm pretty sure if I give her a box full of candy, it's gonna be gone within a day. It's like when you have a dog that has to stay at home all day while you go to work. So you leave out a couple bowls of dog food and you tell the dog to make it last all day, but as soon as you leave, it eats all of the food. Probably shouldn't compare my girlfriend to a dog. Right, let's try again. So it's like having a girlfriend that has to stay at home alone all day. So you leave out two bowls of girlfriend food and tell her, you know what? That one probably didn't need an analogy. So my idea is to make an advent calendar where each day is locked and only unlocks on the day when you can get the candy. Having to control 25 separate locks seems difficult and expensive. So instead what I wanna do is use some CNC parts that I have that I was gonna to use to make a laser cutter but never got around to. So this way I can just control a single motor and have this piece that moves unlock the separate doors. And the best idea I have is to put a razor blade on this moving piece that will move across the rod a little bit more each day and I'll attach each door of the calendar using a piece of string that this blade can then hopefully cut through, releasing the door for the day. Because nothing says Christmas like attaching razor blades to motors. So I just have to build a calendar, attach a razor blade to a motor, and then tie up all the doors with string. Check it out. It's like it's break da dancing cardboard. Ready? Oh my So it's like a quarter built right now, but I've run out of hot glue, so I'll have to finish this part up later. Each of these slots on the front is gonna be a different day. So there'll be something covering it, and then when the string gets cut, it will just fall off. This is one row, there's gonna be another row under here. So it'll make a full 25 days. Back in this part is where there's gonna be the motors, the Arduinos, and the razor blades. So now I wanna get the motor part of this set up so that I can test that it'll actually cut the string correctly before I go any further. I have a stepper motor from China, a driver for the stepper motor, also from China, and an Arduino from Italy. No, I'm kidding, it's from China. Um, so I just need to wire these all together. Um, but since it's Christmas, I'm gonna try something. That is some A-class electrical engineering right there. But I have the motor hooked up to the driver, hooked up to the Arduino, and some AA batteries for the motor. So now I just need some code to test that the motor can actually run correctly. But since it's Christmas, because that driver right there is doing most of the work, the Arduino code is actually really simple. We just have to control two pins. So this code should have the motor spin an entire loop and then wait a second before doing it again. So let's test this out. So there we go. The motor works. Now it's time to connect it up to everything else, including the razor blade. The wiring instructions and code for this I got from this blog that I will include a link to in the description. So this is the back panel that's gonna to attach to the main part of the calendar. Here is where I'm gonna mount 
the stepper motors and attach the blade to it so that when this part moves back and forth, it's gonna cut the string. So right now I just need to attach it and test that it will actually cut the string correctly. So imagine that each time it moves, there's a blade on top that cuts a string to a door that then falls off. So I got this rail thing that I was hoping would help guide it through its path. Um, I originally was going to cut little pieces of metal to attach to this piece that would then slot into the rails in here, but I had trouble cutting any metal. So instead, I'm going to use some of these blank circuit boards that seem to slot right in and then go back and forth here, and I'll just hot glue them to this piece here. <laughs> This is working surprisingly well. Like I was not expecting it to work so well. This thing is being held together by hot glue and zip ties. Let's attach a razor blade to it. As bad as that looks, it works way better than I expected so far. So, so now I want to try connecting this to the back of the rest of the calendar, tying a door to the front of the calendar, turning on the motor and seeing if it cuts the string and releases the door off the front. <laughs> see it coming together now so the string is gonna go around the top around the two bars in there and the razor blade is gonna be sitting there and will cut the string okay I haven't actually made any of the doors yet so I'm just gonna use this block of wood to test that it will actually work before I go ahead and make the other pieces I couldn't find the string so I said I'm gonna test it with a piece of floss so I've attached the door here to the back with floss instead of string, but this is the moment of truth here, because if I turn this on and the razor blade cuts through this and this falls off the front, then I know my idea works. But if it doesn't cut through the floss, then I'll have to figure out a different way of controlling all the doors. It's moving. It cut the floss, it cut straight through it, but the door kind of kept there. That's great, it works. Now I just need to uh, make some real doors, attach the bag, and do the exact same thing in this row. At this point, the calendar's pretty much done, so let's take a tour of what I got so far. In the front, we have two rows with all of these slots where we can store the candy. The doors have been created and decorated that will get put on the front here, tied up with string that will then get cut at some point, releasing the door, exposing the candy. I've added some nice glitter and paint to the calendar to make it look a little bit more homemade. If we look at the back of the calendar, we can see the back is being held on by a nice zip tie hinge here, allowing us to open up the back and see the stepper motors, the razor blades, and all the inner workings that's going on back here. So the string will get tied around those poles in the back, the motors will move the razor blades along that will cut the string, releasing the door for the day. 
Back over on this side, we have our motor drivers connected to the Arduino and all connected to the motors in the back. So to power up the Arduino and the calendar, you just have to plug it into a power supply. It's flashing, which means that it doesn't know what the current time and date is. So I need to plug it into my laptop and run a quick script that will tell the Arduino exactly what the current time and date is. So now that the light stopped flashing, I can unplug it. The Arduino uses the current date and time to make sure that it is actually December. And then as long as it's after midday, it will compare the current time and date with the last time a door was unlocked. And if it's a new day, it will unlock the door for the day. This does mean that every time I unplug the calendar and plug it back in, I have to sync it up with my laptop again. But because it knows what current date and time it is, it can unlock the exact number of days it needs to. So if it was unplugged for like three days and I plug it back in and sync it back up, it will know to unlock three days of the calendar. And then the code in this class here just controls how the motors actually move to unlock each day. I'll post all of the code I wrote for this project on GitHub and explain it in way more detail there. So the only thing left to do now is actually fill the calendar with candy and tie up the doors. your eyes. Okay, open them. Well, what does that even say? Merry oh, Christmas. Cute. Are those numbers? Yeah, <laughs> I drew them myself. <laughs> what is it? It's an advent calendar. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Do you want me to be honest? It looks like a two-year-old put it together. Um, I'm gonna warn you, your wood panels are uneven. So what do you think? <laughs> oh, it's cute. It is the most creative advent calendar I've ever been given. Okay, so let me explain how it works. Okay. So the, the razor blades are in the back here, mm -hmm. and each door is tied up. There's the Arduino and then the stuff there. So as soon as you plug it in, it figures out what the date is, and then unlocks the door on the date that you're supposed oh. to have the candy. So it's filled with candy, but each door only unlocks on that exact day. That's cool. So can I try and... So try and like the first one over here. All right, see, it's, oh, it's, it's okay. locked, cool. right? There's yeah. no way of getting into that. Yeah, you couldn't even cool. if you tried hard. Yeah. So they're all locked, they're all tied up, and on the day, it will unlock around midday every day, yeah. It'll unlock and then I can go in and retrieve my prize. Exactly. That's so cool. So do you want to plug it in? Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going to keep this? Yay. And that flashing means that the Arduino's on, but the date isn't synced, so it has no idea what the current date is. So as long as you never unplug it, you never have to do this bit. The first time I ever sync it, it will unlock the first day. So this is a bonus day that should unlock as soon as I run the script. Okay. So, um, you ready? Yeah. Okay, so it'll stop flashing. <laughs> Damn it! Okay, so it's supposed to unlock the bonus day. You wanna see what it looks like on the inside? Oh, wow. So I had to move them out of the way with zip ties and I have a feeling that might have ruined it. Exactly, eh? 
Now I have to reset the motor, it's very technical. Yeah. That is a lot of hot glue. And, and zip ties, okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be uh, tilted like that. Wow, that looks incredible. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> and that's how it works, and it unlocks the day. Dude, I love so it. So you gotta go into your slot and find your prize. <laughs> A fidget spinner? I was hoping for protein candies. <laughs> oh, that's kind of fun. <laughs> and it lights up. Where did you get this from? Dollar store. Oh my god. Thank you. Mm, here's candy as well. Yay! <laughs> this would be fun drunk. <laughs> so every day is just going to do that on its own? Yeah, as long as you never unplug it. As soon as you unplug it, you have to resync the Arduino using mm. the script. You're recording? Mm hmm I guess I shouldn't have uh, put a handful of candy in my mouth before trying to talk. Yeah, stealing my candy. If you made it this far to the end of the video, please leave a comment, let me know what you think. Consider subscribing so you can get notified when I release a video once every year. <laughs> Happy holidays from my family to yours. And there's a fidget spinner. <laughs>